Hey you, is inflation killing you? Are you sick and tired of paying 15, 20, 30, even $40 eating out? Or does your grocery experience look something like this? All right, now that we're here, let's see what we need. Some Coca-Cola, some lemonade, and some eggs. Pretty small list. Hopefully that's not too expensive, right? Man, $3 for a can of Coca-Cola? Inflation has been really killing prices these days. I'll hold off on it for now. All right, maybe I'll have some better luck with the lemonade. $10? $10? $10 for this lemonade? It's not even full. What's going on here? Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, hi, sorry, how can I help you today? Can you explain to me why this lemonade is $10 and why it's nearly empty? Well, because inflation has been so bad and due to our company policy, we've had to jack up the prices and split our products. Well, I guess I can't control the prices, so I'll have to think about it. All right, at least let's leave the store with at least some eggs. $50 for one egg? $50 for one egg? Hey, excuse me, come over here again. Explain to me this, $50 for one egg. What is this? What is the meaning of this? Well, again, I'm sorry, but due to inflation and our policy, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. You can just simply not buy the products. All right, thank you, have a good day. I got the answer for you, and that's Costco. Now you might be wondering, hey, I can't afford a $60 membership. Look, there are a couple of solutions for you, such as stop eating out so many times, okay? You can afford to not eat out four or five times to save that money for a membership, or you can ask a friend to get you a gift card so that you can go shop at Costco. But we're not talking about the shopping experience at Costco. What we really care about is the Costco food court. So $10 used to be the golden standard when you wanted to eat out, but times have changed. So what can we still get for $10 at the Costco food court? Well, a Costco pizza. So I could attempt to eat the whole Costco pizza in front of you guys, but let's be honest here. That'd be a little bit too boring. So instead, we'll try this again. You can get two hot dog and drink combo for 150 each. I got Diet Pepsi, two slices of pizza for 199 each. I got one cheese and one pepperoni. And finally, a chicken bake for 399 for a total of 1097 without tax. And you might be wondering, hey, isn't that technically over $10 worth of food? Yes, but today is no ordinary eating day. Today is a challenge. A challenge that was inspired from Matt Stoney and Reckless Eating when they first did this challenge against each other, trying to eat $10 worth of Costco food court food. Now, for me, I had a couple of questions I wanted to get answered. One, can a non-competitive eater like me, be able to finish this much food? And two, if I can, how fast can I finish it? And so for those that are the average Joe, like me, I challenge you to order the exact same thing from the Costco food court and time yourself and let me know how fast you're able to eat it. Now, without further ado, let's start your engines. <laughs> Begin. First hot dog done. 
Show some pizza. One pizza down. Both hot dogs are down. First drink done. The cold pizza crust is tough. Pizza's done. Woo! Here we go, chicken bake. Last thing. Oh. Oh. More than my stomach right now. My jaw hurts from all the bread I have to chew. Oh, it hurts like right here. I've never had to chew so much in my life. Like I want to chew faster, but man, there's so much bread going on that like it just hurts to chew. Oh my stomach! Oh. That's it. Oh. Diet Pepsi's done. Oh my gosh, I did it. We were about to finish the $10 Costco food challenge. Oh, that's something to be, that's something to celebrate. Oh. Anyways, thank you for watching. I challenge you to try it out for yourself. Two hot dogs, two pizzas, 
and the chicken bake with two of the drinks. Let me know if you were able to do it and how fast you were able to do it and whether you could beat 15.55. Honestly, this isn't a very fast time. I don't know, but if you're able to complete it, props to you because man, oh jeez. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next meal. Goodbye.